it's Big Boy KLD here. I forgot already my intro. Anyway, um, it's been a while. Oh, this, that's not flashy, so so bright. So uh, it's been a while, guys, that I make a video. Um, it's actually this. This is gonna be my new camera for a while because this one is dead. Anywho, so it's it's almost now a December. I got my sound system in here. It's not done um, finished yet. This needs some uh, restoration in here actually. Bye. This house in the Philippines. Um, this thing has gonna be some new woofers coming on this, and some new tweeters as well. This one just needs some boxes and a new tweeter, and this is all good. Cause it's, do you re remember my uh, Giglog last April? This is actually the speakers. Um, got some my main my name in there. K KLD. Uh, this is a 10 inch. Uh, 150 watts RMS and uh, 200 watts peak. Uh, I actually designed this like crazy back in the day. Look, I actually put some uh, tape like this it's because there's a hole in there, which is actually it's good. It still works fine. Sounds good. Just need some uh, tweeter. Same as the other one actually. As you can see, they're all like a Spider-Man. And just need some box. Do not ever buy a Pro Audio like this. It's just like uh, crappy wood and a uh, crappy Tolex they put in here. And also a crappy wood and uh, everything. As you can see, this is like the sawdust. As you can see in here. Oh. This is so easy to rot. As you can see in here. Ugh. There are very very crappy boxes. This one is actually is all fucked now. Um, yeah, they give a little bit of a mess in the house, so I'm just going to try to throw this thing away or smash it on my 100 subs. Yay! I'm going to keep the woofers actually. These things are are very very nice for vocals or monitors actually, and those are good. Here is my 12s. Um, this is actually supposed to be new, but um, this is a woofer. It's, it's not even a uh, a PA, PA speaker. This one actually uh, had been uh, re foamed by me. Look at that glue job. Ugh. But it, it's actually working. No no rubbing. And I uh, just need some dust cap. Everything. This thing needs some du new dust cap. Seems to be okay, um, but I'm going to re replace these woofers because they're actually very crap. It actually di distorted that much on maybe in the half of the amplifier. Um, this is actually um, uses 20 watts. I don't know if it's actually true, but I think it's not. It's still the best these things. But there are 10. This is a 12. Now. Uh, I got a piezo tweeter in here. Looks like about to rot. It's okay. I'm just going to get, uh, get a um, high compression and driver, 500 watts from uh, DJ Scorpio. That's good. This one has is, is just a hole in there. As you can see that homemade speaker on the back. I put some uh, speaker on in this bad boys. Let's take a look at the back. There's a new stand in here. This is from uh, SP2502. From Mikkel, and they cost around six bucks. So I'm, I'm going to get an another one. So here's the box of the tents. Look at that. This this one is already been uh, smashed up. Look at this. Not a good quality. Yeah. So here's what I was talking about the speakons, but I just use a regular wire for the. Um, for the setup here, here's the er, okay. Here's the speak on. Uh, it's just uses a regular speak on in there. It's, it is uh, pretty easy to install, and I you can actually put this thing on this stand if you want. But I'm going to do like a, a two way. I mean, four speakers in here. Here's my wirings going to the amplifier, which is actually mod this amplifier. It's supposed to be a like a house amp or a integrated amplifier. 
it now is already like a power amp. Here's the old volume. That thing is done. Old knobs. I just put some tape in there. And this is the new ones. So, okay, focus a little bit. You can focus the readings. Okay, you can focus that well. Uh, this is a left channel, right? You cannot focus because of the light. But it's okay. Here's the uh, the new knobs. Only two. A power amp. Here's the, the uh, toggle switch. And, uh, yeah, I put some uh, toggle switch in this bad boy. This is good. And a blue LED in there, actually. And this is for a extra fan. I actually put a... Uh, 120 millimeter fan from a computer and that's part of this light to turn on the fan if you can actually see the light yeah okay you can actually see much better left channel and then the right channel and this is for the uh, the light turn on if the fan is working and off yeah got my mixer this is a Four channel mixer, they're all working fine. Here's the mains. The property of KLD. Here's my house speakers. This is crap. And I, I never use this thing anymore. Just because the bass is like clapping for some reason. And uh, this should be wrap it in here. Now I do not recommend actually real. I do not even recommend everything about cheap and pro audio like this. Uh, don't ever buy this pine wood. That thing is not solid. This piece, these tweeters are actually made for pesos. So, uh, so this is the uh, the before the upgrades of this, the twelves and this, and they get a new standard. So this is the before, and uh, you are about to see some other videos. I'm going to actually upgrade this to like a twelve thirty. Um. Because these things are crap, and some uh, like I don't know. It depends. Th this thing just needs some boxes. Uh, I see. Just put some masking tape in here to to not see the what's happening on this crap. It's like a freaking masking tape. Uh, yeah. But today, let's do some uh, tests here. Let's see how these things can sound before the restoration and the upgrades. I'm going to use this song from Migraine by Ellis. And NCS is because for the copyright. Here's the grills, the original grills. Bad boy. Let's do that. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the flashlight now. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. It's actually muted on the uh, the main computer. Okay, here we go. Shaky like 
it, if we know that this is actually more excursion than these twelves here. They are the same volumes, but these are so loud. They do excursion that much. This is, I think it's because of the wattage, I think. I don't know. But uh, there are the same connections. Each amplifier has a uh, 4 ohms. This is 4 and another 4 in the, uh, the bottom. I guess it's the 12s. That's cool. Now st let's try a different song. That thing is so cool. I never do that thing in my other speakers like that. Let's do some uh, Juan Paulo DIYs music. Because I like them. L-R-I-D. From Life Party. I'm gonna do the chorus. By the way, subscribe to One Palo DIY to see some more big speakers from the Philippines. He uses Crown Pro Audio and some concert and a new mic system. Um, there are 15 inch, I think it's like a 4 subwoofers and a, uh, 2 uh, mid highs. Same 15 inch. So I, I definitely recommend it to go to One Palo DIY. I'm going to leave a, a link in the de description um, to see that or channel or whatever um, yeah <laughs> Okay, last song I'm going to use is going to be from the guy, uh, this guy here, is from Don Por Doy, it's another Filipino sound system, he uses this for testing mid-highs I think, it's just the mid-high in this bad boy here, okay. Whoa! Definitely, it's good for jazz music actually. Just need some actually restoration, and of course, that needs some upgrades. Uh, this is going to be the before of the restoration and upgrade of the my KLD sound system. 
Now, actually, I already put the, uh, I already make one like this one right here. This is so. This is going to be like my KLD Mini PA system, uh, sound system. Here's the goals I did. It's all the paper. Um. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I think that's for this video, guys. Subscribe for more content if you want to see more of me. And uh, please leave a like if you want. Uh, leave a dislike if you. If you want to roast my uh, speakers again, I'm just not that much about anything about these speakers that much. So yeah, if you have some uh, suggestions, uh, suggestions on this speaker system, just leave in a comment down below, and I'm going to see if we can actually actually do something about this. This is going to be this is going to be just need some restoration, that's for sure. Um. Now about the stand, I'm going to show you what actually it looks like if actually these twelves are actually on the stand. They're like a freaking big PA system. Let's do that. Okay, let's do this. All right. So I'm just going to try to actually we can actually remove. I'm just gonna fix the angle of the. Uh, I don't have the tripod anymore it's because they're already broken. So here it is. Here's the uh, the tens. Well, unplug that. Oh, fudge. They're freaking. Ah. Here's some uh, 120mm fan. Alright, let's get the 12s out. Here's the other 12. This one is not gonna be going. I'm going to put the uh Okay. Oh fuck. Oh shit. This is actually so hard if we don't have any uh any tripod anymore. Okay. I'm just going to just need to this thing to be like this. Ooh, so big, so big, it's so big. Alright. Just gonna do the notch. Oh fudge. Okay, this thing on the side, need to focus, focus on me, bitch. Okay, let's try to put this thing now. Uh, here's the original, original metal stuff. This is already like, whatever, focus this. I'm just going to do the high enough to see the camera about like this so uh... Ooh, uh? okay so this I actually do some hole in here and get some uh, metal, uh, top metal to get this thing on top of this there we go so that's it how it looks like if it has you understand. It looks beautiful actually. Speaker stand like this. It's like an acoustic speaker. And you know what? You can actually detail these speakers. Which is I'm going to show you that how. Just if you're in the audience actually. Is to do this. This is actually risky if you if you're going to do this. Just to make sure your speakers are good. But I'm not going to do this on every um, every gig. I'm going to put a one speaker down. Okay, that thing is tilt. That thing guy is tilt. Yeah, that's how you tilt a speaker. But it's actually it's risky. It's because it's about to fall down about this. So I'm not going to recommend it to do that on your system. You're just going to leave it like this. Like that, this should be all good. Yeah. Now I want to. Uh, I can actually put the uh, the tens if I want to. Actually, there's a like adapter in there, but I don't want to use it now. For now, so here's the other one. Or if you want, just use the other twelve. Which is I don't know where it go. Oh, there we go. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that, that, that what, what it looks like with already like a PA. This is not a franking stand. This is just a regular speaker stand, like going in the air. Whoa. Just going down like this. Oh. And then get your speaker out. As you can see there's a top pad in there. So that is my sound system for the meanwhile. I'm going to do some uh, parts. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some other stuff. This is already like a messy stuff in here now. So uh, yeah, so that's my sound system. This, where is it? This guy did some uh, full restoration if you want. They're heavy actually. They have like a freaking big, biggest magnet on this bad boys. These are the tents. This is part of my old system. Which is I'm going to use this as a monitor. <coughs> Grab that. And then this these twelves are gonna be upgraded to a twelve thirty. So uh, I hope in this video guys subscribe from content if you want to see more of me. Um, if you want to see more about this speaker actually, uh, leave, a li leave a like if you want to, leave a dislike if you already said that on the uh, video. Um, and also do not buy some cheap speakers uh, using pine woods. I still recommend an MDF or the best is the ma marine wood. Um, yeah, do not use this crappy plywood stuff. They're horrible. Believe me. I already experienced it, so uh, I do not recommend it that. And uh, if you want to get this stand, this is just for like uh, ten dollars. I don't even know, six dollars I think or seven. It's a good stand. It's actually a steel, um, steel iron, but plastic on the the main bracing in here. But it's all good. It's it's there. You can actually lift up to six, 60 pounds if you want. Um, but it's actually risky and they actually go about 6 feet so you can actually go use this for the audience if you want to use that but if you want to uh, some uh, 10 feet go in the other stuff yeah so for this video and I'm going to catch you guys so my next video um, upgrading this is gonna be a fun project this the tools are already okay just need some new wo new woofers and some uh, tweeters but this stands, I'm just gonna use some uh, tweeters in the box actually. And they actually are actually more excursion than my 12s. Actually, it's like. It's being weird actually. I know it's just a uh, 150 watts. The 12s are like a 200, I think. Maybe not. I'm going to measure that on a, uh, on a multimeter if I have that time to do that. So yeah, I hope you this video and I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. Bye. Bye.